In this video, I want to show you how to indicate cantilever line in Revit. This is the ground floor and this is my first floor. So I want to indicate where I have cantilever on the ground floor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the ground floor and while i am on the ground floor i want to view the first floor from the ground floor so what i will do is i'm going to go to the property palette and i'm going to look for underlay you can see underlay here now it is set to none i'm going to set it to first floor so i want to see first floor from the ground you can now see i can see the image of the first floor right from the ground floor now so what i will do now is i am going to pick detail line and if i want to do it manually i will go to annotate and select detail line but sometimes I prefer to use shortcut to make it faster. If I want to use shortcut, I simply type DL. That is detail line. Okay, right now, I am on line mode now. I am ready to sketch. But the type of line I want to use will be overhead. I will use overhead so that it will be dotted line. It will be dashed line. This is overhead and that is the one I will use. And I will use pick. Then I'm going to pick all these, all this wall on the first floor. That is the one I will pick. Only the walls. Okay. If if I have a structural member. I may indicate it there. Okay. Alright, so I've gone around. Now I am going to remove the first floor from view now. So I'll go I'll go back to underlay and set it to none. Okay, so I'm going to set it to none now. Click apply. Alright. Then I need to clean up these lines. I use trim to clean them up. And this is okay. Alright. And I still need more. I'm going to extend this one to here. Then I'm going to remove this. Oh, let me. This is supposed to be aligned to this. No constraint. Okay. Two lines are overlapping each other here. Undo. I am going to extend one. I will extend this one to here. Okay. Then I'm going to remove this. Alright. That is it. So you can see our cantilever line on the ground floor. And I hope this video helps you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.